time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. We are playing Figures in the Sand Expansion for Innovation. Pegasus is in a bind. She, um, really liked to just get those last two achievements and win the game, but she has Flush here with his vaccination taking away her score pile. So she's not maybe going to be able to do it via points. So she has to come up with something to do. Feels like, uh, the time to act is now, but she doesn't really have any great options other than scoring. Um, so maybe she'll forego scoring altogether and use this encyclopedia to just get all the cards out of her score pile. Um, she could maybe build it back up later and then use them. Okay, so she gets to meld all of these. Gunpowder is not going to be useful, but this um, experimentation will be useful. She just wants to get some, some new options on the board. And this is, well, not really a faster method, but uh, just as good a method as drawing and melding. She can just do this action to draw and meld. And she'll be able to get a leader card out of it because everyone is going to copy her. So she's going to mix things up. Well, there she covers up the um, vaccination with that draw and meld that Flush did. Got lightning for giraffe. And then she is going to get combustion. That could be useful. And a leader, which is maybe the path she wants to take is to be able to get the, get the decrees. Flush is going to go ahead and take that leader that Pegasus just drew with uh, explosives. He's got four factories. She has three. So that's going to affect her. He's just going to be taking this leader card from her. Um, score all opponents' top figures. Of value less than seven. So he could get, oh, this one's already scored, he could get um, Beethoven and, ooh, that that actually wouldn't be so bad. He'd kind of like to use it to take a decree though. He could get a trade decree um, if he uses John Harrison, but hurting everyone else is also attractive. So let's see, does he want to meld this? Oh, we'll get back to you. Yeah, Flesh went through with um, melding this leader instead of going for a decree of his own, um, which got rid of everyone else's leaders, put him in his score pile. So also get, brought him closer to 30 points, which is what he needs for the next achievement. Um, Giraffe put down Meiji and then foreshadowed a 9. So I'm assuming she can just meld this 9 from here. She's got an 8 as part of the... Uh, did I say four? Yeah, Yeah, she did an Inspire. She's got this 8 here which also lets her draw a 10, she could win very quickly unless the board state changes, which could happen. All right, Pegasus is looking at two main choices. She could be using her combustion to start taking away Flush's score pile. Um, she could take, let's see, seven points away from him this turn. Um, and get a couple of her bottom red cards into her score pile. It wouldn't be enough for her to get cl very close to achieving. She got rid of much of her score pile. Um, I think she's got to go with what she was planning, which is the experimentation uh, that's going to make everyone draw and meld. Hopefully, maybe this Meiji card will get covered up, um, but it's probably going to help some people. But she's going to get a... Covered up that guy. She's going to get a... Um, ooh, that's useful for Giraffe. She's going to get a figure out of it, which is great. Here we have... Factory from your board to my score pile. If you do draw and meld an 8, let's do draw and meld an 8. That might be something nice. Let's see what figure she gets. All right, she got Nikola Tesla. Expansion decree, she doesn't have any more figures. Another card with a more first score and opponent's top card with neither. Ooh. That'd be good, if, especially if she had some drawing ability. Oh, but it, it, it's just a meld card. So if she melded this, and then started using corporations, or she could keep using experimentation. Um, she could maybe do some scoring as she's building up her board more, getting some more options. Uh, so her choices are whether to meld this or to just go ahead and do this. The demand, she's got six factories, so she'd be able to demand... Um, she would get electricity, which would cover up corporations. That's probably not what she wants to do. And that doesn't have a light bulb. Oh, it does have a light bulb. So then she'd be able to score publications, which might be kind of nice. Um, 
she would be able to get something from Flush as well. I think she'll go ahead and do this first because she would like to get the scoring done and you know scoring these larger cards is better than scoring a couple ones from Flush. All right, Mo Mobility gives uh, Flush a powerful option to deal with Meiji and he's gonna do it because it's also gonna let him score. So it's going to be um, the two highest non-red cards top cards without a factory. That's going to be Meiji. It's not going to affect Pegasus, but it is going to affect Giraffe. It's going to get Meiji and Publications. That's 14 points he gets to score. And she gets to draw an 8. Not that exciting at this point. If he were ahead in age, which he had wanted to be, that would be exciting. And he might have enough for an achievement now. Does he take it? So we have 14, 20, 23, um, 25, 27, 30, 35. So he could take the next two achievements. He could do that, or he could keep chipping away at her board. Um, I think he will go ahead and take this achievement. Draft's in a bit of a tough pickle. She has some things she would like to do, but the copying... She has some copying problems, like quantum theory there would be copying. She'd kind of like to get an advancement decree with Albert Einstein. However, she doesn't want to do that first thing on her turn because then she would just be stuck with um, uh, stuck with a, a 10 in her hand and someone could maybe take that from her. It's a concern. So she's going to just go ahead and do atomic theory. Everyone's going to copy that. And so they're all going to draw and melt two eights. The flush is going to do an eight and a nine. And she gets to do two nines, and then she's going to get a nine leader. Ooh, vision. That might not be bad for her to do at this point in the game because she's decent on achievements um, but has no score pile and not really a very impressive board compared to everyone else. So she might do that. She's got to take stock at all the stuff she got because she's also going to get a new leader. I guess we can, you probably want to see who this new figure. I say leader, but it's actually a figure. They're not always leaders. All right, so Giraffe has three options. She could do the Fission, which she might want to do. It's uh, She's got the clock lead right now, um, so no one... She'd be able to, to have two shots at it, uh, two shots of removing everything from the game. Um, so there's five different colors. If there's a red, everything gets removed. She could also put Einstein down so she's ready to, for the advancement decree. Or she could meld this card, Grace Hopper. Now what this does is if someone does a dogma action and no one copies it, basically, then she gets to draw and reveal a 10. If it's blue, she just automatically wins. Um, that's not too bad for her right now because she... Uh, is uh, behind in in icons but so what are the other copying things we got light bulbs here see flush would be the person it would really stymie flush because he's kind of ahead in pretty much every icon except for clocks so that would that would really hold him back um the advancement decree she's not that excited about anymore because it looks like the game might end on points or by something else I think she might just try the fission. Let's let's try it. Okay, so she's going to demand of um, Pegasus. She draw and reveal a 10. Pegasus just gets a 10. Um, and then flush. Nope. Didn't pay off. Okay. But then she gets to return a top guard other than fission from any other player's board, and she gets to draw a 10. So I'll, I'll do that off camera. Okay, Giraffe returned this card, the mobility card from... Um, Flush's board. Then it was Pegasus's turn. She used her her Tesla ability to meld, like to um, return people's cards without clocks or light bulbs when she melded a card with clocks. So she did that to Flush primarily. Um, she would, didn't really need this agriculture card. So she's kind of building up her score in preparation for the end. If she can get higher than Flush in points, she can start using this internet um, to to run out the ten deck and maybe end the game on points that way. We'll see what Flush has to say about it. He's got quite a few cards in hand, uh, probably the most dominant board. He also got the world achievement. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Um, 
because he had a card that made his factories worth extra clocks, and so he had 12 clocks. Tough decision right now for Flush. He can take that seven achievement. He could also do a little trick to take the monument special achievement, uh, but unfortunately he needs to get six achievements and he can only get one this turn. He could also use the skyscrapers card he has in his hand. Um, what that would do is it would basically take clock cards from other people. He could get either satellites, fission, or lightning from uh, giraffe and either this Emily Nother or the internet from Pegasus. I don't know if, I think, you know, the reason he wouldn't do the uh, achievement route is if he thought the game wasn't going to go another turn. I think he's going to go ahead and take this achievement, first of all, because if the fission does come off, then at least he'll have the most achievements, and those are the only thing that doesn't go away if the world blows up. Then he's got to decide one other thing to do. See, if he had one more card in his hand, he could use Bicycle to exchange these into here, and then he would get uh, the monument and win right now. But unfortunately, that's not that's not happening. So Flush has got to come up with something else. After Flush took some cards from her hand, Giraffe is going to try the fission again. So first Pegasus has to draw a 10, and it's red. So boom, everything is going to blow up. I have to clear everything up. Uh, all the score piles and boards are going to be leaving the game. And then Giraffe gets another action. Giraffe is melding mobility. That's going to allow her to score this card here. She's currently the high scorer now, so if we, if suddenly the game ends, she's going to win. But maybe someone else can get some points. We'll see. Pegasus, not wanting to lose her board, did not meld anything. This mobility <laughs> transfers the two non-red cards that are highest from their board, and we're in a place where there are no boards, really. So anytime someone melds something, they're kind of in big trouble. Um, yeah, that's not useful. Now, this is nice because it would prevent the mobility from affecting him. Um, specialization. Suburbia is what he really wants, though. See, he can meld this and then dogma it to get specialization down, which lets him draw and score. Oh, there is a three over here. He gets three points, so now he's in second place in points. Giraffe just drew two cards, and we won't tell Flush, but both of these would let him win. Uh, so she's got to keep those very secret. Um, what does she got here? Draw and meld a 10, score all cards when you say. Draw and meld a 10. I think Pegasus is going to go ahead and do this one. He's going to meld it. No one copies. Draw and meld a 10. Draw and score a 6. If no player has more leaves than factories on her board, the single player with the most points wins. Um, Flush has more leaves than factories. All right. That's going to protect her from the mobility, though. Okay, Giraffe has devised a finishing move. All she has to do, there's only one card left here. She just has to draw it. Okay. And then, because her forecast didn't go away with the um, apocalypse, she can meld a card. Why not software? which lets her forecast this card, Ecology, she can return a card from her hand in order, if she does, she gets to score a card from her hand, which puts her at the highest score of 19, and draw two tens. She can only draw one ten. Game ends on points. That's the third game in a row, right? I think well, they've all ended on points. This one's not going to be as painful for the people who lost, though, because she... She's only nine points above Pegasus and six points above Flush. So we'll go to the scoreboard get it all adjusted and let you know how things shook out, and then we'll say goodbye. Phew, well that was uh, some game, huh? Did you enjoy it as much as I did? I had a lot of fun. Um, really ballsy move by Giraffe using the fission there at the end. Uh, Could have not worked out, but it turned out it did, and so nice for her. Some sad news, Flush lost 60 points off the game. That put him just over the 700 mark. He was so he was at negative 648, um, which is you know when you're skating on the edge like that, just a little tip will put you over. So let's say goodbye to Flush now. Man, we had a lot of memories with this guy, didn't we? You and me, Flush, talking it out by the campfire or wherever you imagined us. 
when we were talking it out. All right, we'll see you next time in the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament where we will go to Echoes of the Past. I gotta spend a little time uh, with Flush now. Bye.